Hey guys, uh, for me it's Christmas Eve right now, but this video will be going up on uh, Christmas Day for Americans, I believe. So Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Um, I was kind of hoping we up be, we'd be up to World 6 by now, you know, it'd be all snowy and all that, but eh, we can't all be winners. Last time this year I was LPing uh, Mario Sunshine Blind. <laughs> that was fun. Anyway though, so we've got a doozy this episode, 4K Spinning Spines. Hoo <laughs> hoo. Oh, I really wish I was bringing a Kong buddy <laughs> to this level. Because this is one of the K levels that, you know, doesn't offer a Kong barrel or a checkpoint throughout the whole thing. And, you know, I've been saying in, like, previous episodes, oh, the K-levels do get really hard, and this is prob- <laughs> This is probably the first one that's not screwing around, and you'll see what I mean in a bit. You know, it starts off pretty, like, chill, I suppose, but doesn't every level, and then it hits you. Oh, I don't need to collect all these bananas, but i still got to get them anyway. <laughs> well, I may as well collect everything the first time through, just to show how it's done. Get a bit of coins. Ooh, look, 700. We're actually- Getting pretty close to capping our coin count out. Just gonna like jump back to get the coin there. Oof. I just <laughs> I don't feel secure without Dixie, you know. I just it's just so easy to fall on these moving platforms. Have we seen this enemy type before? If we haven't, it's pretty simple. You just roll into him three times, wait for him to lift his thing. Pretty simple. <laughs> Puzzle piece one is not hiding at all. So, well, I mean technically it's hiding, but those things are so obvious that they may as well not be hiding. Shoot there, wait, oh, is that gonna hit? Oh, I just hit. Now this puzzle piece. Oh, you see, I screwed it up, so I killed the bee dude that chases me, so I, I think I have to kill myself if I want to get this. Yep. Unfortunately, yeah, see, unfortunately, unlike the original trilogy, if, like, in the original trilogy, if you, if you roll off something, no matter how, for, like, far you fall, you'll still be able to jump, whereas in this game, if your rolling animation finishes, you can't jump in the air anymore. Which kind of sucks, but there isn't really any, like, well, apart from that, there isn't really many situations that's required in, so I don't really care that much about that. But we got that puzzle piece, so let me just quickly get back to where we were. I'm wondering if that'll be my or our only death, or if we'll die a couple more times. Because, like, right near the end, there's this part where it's like, you can't screw up. If you screw up, you go all the way back to the start. And, like, even Dixie wouldn't really help with that. Alright, let's get back. got to pay attention because you got to shoot like before they go uh, anyway so this part you really got to kind of hurry because these bee guys chases you chase you and they're actually they actually really get in the way this episode's off to a great start <laughs> even like me getting through this level quick isn't really speeding it up I just don't have time to collect all these bananas just got to get through it I want to get back to where we were and see if I can't do it this time. Well, that was a sucky death. Oh man, I almost fell off there. <laughs> that was a... I think that death was even more of a sucky death than the previous death, though. <laughs> 97 lives. I haven't we died three times now. I guess I, I got a life after we died that one time. <laughs> oh man. At least I'm getting some coins. I can't complain about that. We're going to need... I'm not sure how many you... Well, it's random, you know. It's a, it's a gadgetpon machine, so it's completely random how many you need to get them all. Although, I don't think I had to grind when I did it originally, but you do need quite a bit. So I might have to do some off-screen coin collecting. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Just get out. I wish I could jump over this guy, but well, I probably could, but I might take a hit, so I'd better to not risk it. Whoa, oh man, I just avoided that. Alright, can we not die at this part again? Like, I'm not even... Yep, 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 yep. 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 Don't bees, don't touch, don't let the bee touch you. Alright, alright, all right, there we go. That part's done. <laughs> I'd love this music too, by the way. Um, it plays in a couple of K levels, but it just really makes you feel like, you know, what a rush. Oh man. Alright, I want to kind of do. Oh shit. Oh, I just missed that too. Oh, oh. So if I was just a bit higher, I would have gotten on that platform. Oh well. Back I go. <laughs> the thing is, it's not even that long of a level. After that lava part, there's a, there's a bit where you jump on some guys and you climb up again, and then you're done. But it's, you know, it's just so easy to die that you might not even get back up to where you were before, like, you know, dying again or whatever. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason I just really like these, like, ridiculously hard things. You'd think, like, Mario Maker would be, like, my favorite game of all time. <laughs> I don't know, there's, like, fair hard, and then there's unfair hard, and I think Mario Maker probably has a lot more unfair hard. Whereas this game's, like... If I, like, every time I fell off there, it was because I sucked, and I freaking couldn't jump on a platform correctly. 
But it's not like the game's physics suck or anything, they're really good. So look at this, this is some, I'm doing some good jumping platforming here. Ooh. Right, can we get all these bananas? That's better, I missed one of them last time. <laughs> I know, a puzzle piece is not spawn for getting all them. I got hit there, like, alright, let's... Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, then you jump backwards, get this puzzle piece on top of here, and we keep going, nice, nice, okay, alright, let's do this. Um, yep. Yep. Oh man, it's so, it's so tense, so easy to die. <laughs> Of all the ways I could have died. Let's cut back to the volcano. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm back. Um, I, I got hit, so I better not get hit again. Oh, uh, I guess... <laughs> you see that? That penguin, like, bitch slapped me in the face. <laughs> oh, that was good. Alright, I'm back again. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get hit this time, so even if that penguin wants to bitch slap me, it's not gonna work. Well, I guess that time the ceiling bitch slapped me. <laughs> okay, I'm back again now. <laughs> I'm seriously wondering how many possible ways I can die. Okay, I got past that part that time. That was good. Now, okay, there we go. You gotta time it, like, the jumps correctly so you don't run into the things. Alright, now don't die like you did last time. Alright, that's better. Alright, now, yeah, just, you can't miss a jump. You, you'll die. Oh, it's so tense. No, what am I doing? No! Shit! I don't think I have enough time to get this puzzle piece. Come on, scroll over. Oh, there you go. Get out of the way. And success! <laughs> five out of five. Nice. Oh, is that a Christmas present just for me? Ah. Oh. Well, I mean, before it was his birthday present, now it's a Christmas present. I guess. Man, I struggle with that one, but it is a damn fun to play, let me tell you. Yeah, now, now I think about it, actually, I do really enjoy the later levels in this game a lot more, mainly because of their shortness and hardness, which I actually really like, so you'll probably see a lot less bitching from me from now on. Anyway, let's move on to 4 Boss Fungu Face-Off. Alright, now this boss, like I said, well, it's pretty obvious of this <laughs> a boss in this world will be underwater, but, um... Man, random cut, some idiot was singing outside my room or something. <laughs> yeah, it happens. <laughs> Alright, yeah, but, but Cranky would probably be useful in this level because, you know, he sends out like some sea urchins and stuff and he would be able to belt them. But, uh, you know, I think I'll just stick with the old standby of Dixie for this guy. I love how they do their, you know, battle cry underwater, it's like so cute. <laughs> Alright, get... Oh man, I got hit like right at the start? Come on, we can do better than that. So this guy is like, one of his main th attacks is like trying to blow you onto the spikes. Which is uh, a pain, hopefully I can get a heart before I lose Dixie. And uh, boom, you gotta hit his butt, and there we go, heart. Because <laughs> obviously that's the only part of him that isn't spiked, oh shit. <laughs> It's just, it, he just kind of starts, you don't really, like, can anticipate it, and then I can hit these guys in him. And now while he's unpuffed, come on, swim. Yeah, there we go, another heart, nice. So it's like I never got hit, <laughs> So is he, he's gonna start, yeah, well that was three hits, so we're already into phase two, pretty quick boss. Alright, okay, he's gonna roll over there. Huh, it's unconventional that we can't use the 3D space to, you know, go behind him and hit him, but, uh, I guess... Oh, she's pulling me in. Oh, I just got away from him, that's why I like Dixie. Yeah, he's pushing. Dodge ball. That's a, they're actually pretty easy to dodge, and we can boom. Oh, nice. And two hits. <laughs> he's gonna. Oh, he's sucking. Oh, oh, he's sucking. <laughs> it's like reversing like Flounder from The Little Mermaid. Now he's like. Bong. Hit him in the butt. There we go. Is he done? Yeah, we're going for phase three already. Pretty quick boss. Now, what's he doing? He's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna suck again, so he gets, like, ridiculously big. Like, isn't he gonna pop or something? I mean... I don't know. They're like balloons. He should be popping. Well, I, I'll do the popping for him, I guess. God, this is so cheesy. 
Ooh, oof. They are at all. I just sort of dodged him there. Pretty uneventful. Until he starts blowing again, anyway. <laughs> right, you gonna blow? Yep, there he goes. Push against that. He's gonna blow again? Oh, okay, he's doing this. Hit him in the butt. Oh, oh man, guys are coming at me. And there's a... Uh, man, what is this? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I ran into that. <laughs> kind of want to hit this guy into him, but, like, it's nowhere near him. <laughs> Alright, get him in the butt. In the butt. There we go. One more hit. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, sucking. Yeah, you know, he... That's all he really does. He just sucks. And I mean that in both ways. <laughs> he sucks and he's a sucky guy. <laughs> and there we win already. Let's... Now, was that 24 or 25? I hope it wasn't 24, because that would break my perfect streak. <laughs> ah, there you go, 25. <laughs> so yeah, we got through that, like, really quick. I feel like I should have had more to say, but there really wasn't much to say. You just <laughs> swim against you sucking and blowing, and avoid him and hit him in the ass. Blowing ass. Alright, that's enough, um... Phallic wordplay for today, I think. Anyway, we're finally done with the water world, and we're in some kind of, like, juice-making land. Juicy jungle, it's called. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good change of pace, and uh, when I zoom out, you can see, um, the bottom is like ice, so we're sort of getting into their territory a bit once we get down to the bottom. Now, it's kind of interesting you start this world at the top and go down to the bottom. Pretty much every other world's been you start from the bottom and go up to the top. Anyway, though, um... We'll take on that uh, next time. Again, thank you very much for watching. Merry Christmas if you're watching on Christmas. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. See you next time.